does Jesus call, gather, enlighten, and sanctify you? Are you a Christian? Then the answer is yes. Like Peter, we are sinners. In Jesus, we are God's saints. Thinking about the Lord's Supper, communion. Jesus, standing in Peter's boat, taught the people. Peter, now go to deep water and cast your nets to pull in fish. Lord, we have worked all night and caught nothing. But you tell me to do that, I will cast my nets. Now they caught so many fish that they had to call the other boat to come and help. Peter confessed, Lord, leave me. I am truly a sinful man. Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Jesus before called Peter, and now he told him that he will catch people. We, too, are all sinful people, and God's Word called us, giving us His gracious faith gift. You learned the Creed's third article, and the meaning? Remember it? I believe that I, depending on my own reason and strength, I can't myself believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or in myself come to Him. But the Holy Spirit, using the Gospel, has called me. He has with his gift, gifts, enlightened me, and in true faith, he sanctifies and holds me. In the same way, he calls, gathers, and enlightens, sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth. Like Peter, we can't ourselves believe or come to Jesus. It is God's powerful gospel, Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, his good story that accomplished saving you. He calls you from what? This evil world and your life belonging to death? From that, he calls you. He gathers you into the holy Christian church. People that gather around the word, Jesus, and receive the sacraments as he commands. Jesus commands it, so why do so few gather? Maybe Christians are allowing the devil to blind them to continue joined to 
this dead world. He calls, gathers, and enlightens his people. He enlightens, meaning what? Inside people is only darkness until the Holy Spirit brings Jesus' light gift that inspires them. If you say it's light in you, but that is really darkness, wow, that is that darkness deep. Matthew chapter 6, verse 23. God's gracious faith gift inspires his light in you. It gives you a servant heart and it separates you to live his holy life, meaning he sanctifies you. In you, his faith life separates you to belong to his holy Christian church. You obey and gather every Sunday. Like Peter, we confess, I am a sinner. He forgives us. We attend his word, receive Jesus' true body and blood, and his call, we obey. We pray. Please copy. Almighty God, you have given us your light. Jesus. Jesus became a man and lived to serve us. During everything we do, let our faith shine your love. Give us courage to tell each person that we meet that Jesus died to save them. Lead them to faith. We pray trusting Jesus' name. Amen.